Hello and welcome to this new video in the Spark playlist. In this video we will learn how to sort an RDD and how to extract from RDD. Let's get started. So I've cloned the previous example that we covered in the last video wherein we had some data. You can take any RDD that's fine. So but I'm reusing that same RDD. So now we have this data over here RDD4 dot collect in which we have this array. Now how can we sort this? Very often you would also need this sorting and filtering. These are very common operations. So we'll see sorting in this video and filtering in the next one. So RDD4 RDD4 dot control space and here you will type SO for sort you have two methods sort by key or sort by so first we'll see sort by key so remember these all data uh, data or rather tuples that you have inside the array so on the left hand side the first element is key and the next is the value likewise uh, for instance is day hello hey it hi good these are all keys and then next to them the second item in each tuple is the value so when you say sort by key you don't have to specify that you have to sort by the first item because the first item itself is considered as key so you can just say sort by key and on top of this since this also returns an RDD you can either save that RDD in a variable or directly you can call collect operation or action on it so let's run this so there you go now you see difference between both so this has sorted the data in ascending order so for example uh, A B C D E F G H I now by default this sorts in ascending order in case we want in descending order what you do is sort by key that there is a parameter which accepts so here you just say false run this sorry this should be in lower case so here you see instead now you see the reverse order which means this is in descending order i being the first and d being the last this is how you do the sorting by key now what if you have to sort by any other element in the tuple of the rdd or let's say by value for that you will use the sort by method so rdd4 dot sort by and in here what you will do is there are two parameters what you have to pass again by default ascending is true but the first thing is you will mention by what element now in this since this is a tuple what you have to do is here you will say take in x sorry you need a variable so you just say x equal to greater than which is nothing but implies by now x means what <coughs> remember if you go up over here here we wrote that anonymous function right this way x dot split take in x and make a tuple of it take in x plus y and add it up so similarly sort by also will take in each item and from each item what it will do is it will sort this but since this is a tuple and we want the second element this is how we will refer it x dot underscore 2 and then I'll write collect <coughs> so let me run this now you see sort by <coughs> so it is sorting now by the values so if you see the values they are incrementally going up 3 4 4 6 15 31 41 but this don't focus on the keys instead focus on the values and the same thing if you wanted to sort in descending what you will do is here after this comma and you will say false which is the second argument for ascending or descending so we need to turn off the ascending by default it is true hence we said false now you see that 41 being written fine this was about sorting <coughs> now just one s different part about extracting let's say you have an RDD take any RDD for uh, example RDD 4 and you wanted the first most element of this so how will you get that so all you will just say is rdd4 dot first run this so this will give you the first most or topmost element so don't get confused with this this is the sorted rdd our original rdd rdd4 is nothing but here 
in this way now what does this return this if you see it is returning you a tuple which is nothing but a combination of string being the first value and number being the second and in turn you can save this in a variable so you'll say val and first element or any other better name you would think of and then from this what you can do is if you wanted to just extract the key then you can just say so this is a tuple dot underscore one for the first element and for the second element you can just say dot underscore two so this is how you will extract now let us extend this further how can this be useful let us say you want to know what are your uh, top three records or top three items which are holding the greatest value or the largest value so for that what you have to do is you have to follow a two step approach firstly you have to sort the RDD in descending order so that you get all the elements from decreasing to increasing value and then you take the top but the first method only returns you one item in case you want top three what will you do so for that there is a different way first let me show you that and then we'll do the top so RDD 4 dot take and take accepts a number so if you just say three it will give you the first three items I'm not saying top three there is difference between first three and top three so first three means just the first three which are occurring but I want the top three which means the largest one so the largest one will come in this way what you have to do is take this RDD sort by descending this will return you an RDD and then what you can do is dot take three run so there you go 41 31 15 and in case you want at the bottom three very simple just don't sort by descending instead default is ascending so the least values will come at the top and then you take three four four very simple so this is how you can extract top bottom or first and something more like for example rdd4 control space if you just type in let's say keys what you will get is you will only get the keys now this is returning us an rdd so after this i'll do collect you can save this in a variable and then call collect i'm writing it directly so see how we are easily separating out only the keys so you get an array which is nothing but the collection of these items now you would have guessed in case you want values you will just write values so there you go and then based on this array then you can perform any all those array operations what you do commonly which we have covered extensively in the Scala playlist I just wanted to give you a heads up about sorting and extracting top bottom so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned